So last week I got the opportunity to play some really interesting demos. And it's all thanks to Steam's Next Fest that I got to play some games that were on my wishlist too. Usually this is a really nice test to see what games are going to be worth playing in the future. Now I said this before, but 2023 is going to be pretty insane regarding games. So far there's already been an incredible amount that have really wowed me, and this time, I'm really excited to play most of them on release. One game that really excited me was a game that I spoke about in a previous video, and that game is Meter Maker. I really enjoyed a lot about this game, and mostly because it made me feel like I was playing a few games that seemed really familiar to me. It has a nice touch of Super Mario Maker, Forge Mode and Halo, and Super Meat Boy all wrapped in one. In Meet Your Maker, you become what is called the Custodian to the Chimera. This makes you a living experiment. You are Earth's last attempt at survival. Your job is simple. You must create and destroy as you try to harvest resources and evolve. To do that, you're going to have to construct outposts and infiltrate other outposts made by enemy players. The overall concept of the game is to raid bases to extract what's called gen mats, and gen mats in turn help you improve your weapons, throwables, consumables, traps, and guards. Not to mention that you can do this with a friend as well, although two may be better than one in most cases, I found that rushing ahead and moving together can cause more of a hindrance than anything else. Regardless though, it is a really fun time. Just a little chaotic. The overall theme of raid, loot, and escape is driven quite quickly and the gameplay loop is pretty enjoyable. From upgrading your Chimera, you in turn earn more resources and can upgrade your character's arsenal. Meteor Maker has a really nice tutorial. It doesn't keep you there more than you need to be, and it teaches you the bare minimum for the basics. I found that building my settlement was something I really enjoyed, mostly thinking of ways people could fall victim to some basic traps that I left in obscure locations. Something else I really enjoyed was watching people deconstruct my base and push through it with trial and error. I had a blast, and honestly I played a ton experimenting with a few new traps, guards, and weapons, and they all have a place in your arsenal, but being able to experiment with your loadout before you push into a raid can really change your playstyle a ton. I just felt the need to make a video on how much I enjoyed this game because honestly, I don't remember any demos that I poured hours into since I was probably a kid when demo discs were a thing. And yes, I'm that old. Now I think Behavioral has a great game on the horizon, I think this game has a lot of potential. Something that really intrigued me was the opening of the game and figuring out why we're here to begin with. I just love the overall post-apocalyptic vibe, and understanding our place within this world makes me believe that Behavioral Interactive has something really imaginative in store. Not many games give you the option to have your PvP be mostly focused on your creation rather than the overall player's skill. I mean, anyone can get through a map through all the trial and error in the world, however you can gain a lot more resources through player deaths in your own map. This is the type of game where you are at the whim of the creation of the player that has designed the level. I really haven't played any bad maps, it seems that the majority of the maps that are on the more difficult side are extremely fun and require meticulous inspection. Traps will lie dormant and get you when you least expect it, but like I said, even in death it can be fun and rewarding. And a direction that I love to see gaming take now is the ability to play together or against one another in a crossplay situation. Me or Maker will have the ability to play with anyone on just about every platform. Sorry Switch users. Regardless, this is just another cornerstone in the gaming industry. Accessibility for all gamers everywhere to just enjoy something together, with the sole purpose of being able to conquer or destroy one another's creation all for the sake of some fun. Now I know I don't have much time left as the beta is coming to a close, so I want to try to get as many resources as I can to please my Chimera. So if you guys don't mind, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.